All right, guys. Today is going to be restock day. We're going to be tying some more flies to restock my uh, fly tackle box. We're going to be tying this guy. This is that one pink squirrel, the big size pink squirrel, as you can compare it to my uh, pinky nail there. Um, we're going to be tying this one. It's one of my go-to flies. This is actually like very similar to the one that I caught that 19-inch brown trout that you guys saw in the last video on. Um, but yeah, um, let's get going. Okay, so the material that I will be using. I'm actually using a barbless wide gap jig hook. That's a 60 degree bend in, in the hook. 60 degrees meaning that uh, the front of the shaft has a 60 degree bend in it. And then there's a slotted bead that slides onto it. So what that does is that causes the, the fly to ride in the water with the barb, this barb going up. So it, it's technically supposed to catch less uh, debris when it's floating downstream. As for the bead, I am pairing it up with a tungsten um, slotted bead. Uh, it's got the nickel black color. You don't have to use this hook and this uh, this bead. You can always, uh, I used to use a scud hook with a bead that actually fits onto the scud hook. So yeah. As for um, what I'm going to be wrap, counting wrapping the, the body with, uh, I'm using copper wire. I believe this is the uh, ultra small wire and then for the main body i am actually using my own blend of dubbing so this is actually just synthetic dubbing um, i mixed i believe brown gray and orange with some flash and squirrel hair so squirrel hair is actually what gives it this um the fiber textures that the, that are sticking out like that and it just gives it a nicer profile, makes it look makes it look juicier. As for the collar, I'm using uh this uh ice dub. It's uh the UV pink. That's what I'm gonna be using as the collar of the fly. And uh, as for thread, I got this cream color thread. Honestly, you could get away with a lot of thread um, as long as you kind of match the color of the body in the way. Um, it should work. All right. So to begin. I like to start my thread off with um, right behind the bead and I don't build a, a thread dam behind it to lock the bead in because I feel like the cut the pink collar will actually do that for you. So to begin I actually start off halfway and I'm going to trim off the tag end and this is where I'm going to actually start tying in my copper wire. Get that locked in there. Just tie it all the way. I like to go all the way close to where it actually starts to bend in the hook. So right around there. Um, once in a while, you'll see me going into the bend of the hook. That's just to like um, get the fly a little more pro profile. That way the body kind of curves and makes it look a little more, I guess, realistic in a way. So I just went over again, just to lock in the copper wire. Um, all right. Now, as for the dubbing. Um, I grab like a pinch where you can always add more to your dubbing. So go less, add more. So I'm actually going to, on a thread, I'm going to twist on kind of like a tapered, tapered portion. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's tapered. I leave this end fluffy because then I can always adjust and add more to this end. Um, so I'm going to bring the thread closer to the hook and I'm going to start my wraps. So again, I'm going to try to work on a, getting a tapered body. While doing this, I kind of twist the dubbing too to kind of lock it in, singe it down, and tightens the thread. Gives it the body a better, a better tight profile. So work it all the way up to the bead of the eye, uh, the, the bead. So this is where I'm gonna add a little more dubbing to it. I bring the dubbing all the way up to uh, right behind the bead. That way, I don't when I'm making the collar. I don't have to use too much the UV dubbing because UV dubbing is actually pretty expensive too. So keep that in mind. So I'm tightening up the. Okay. Now as for the collar. Oh, before I get to the collar, I got to counter wrap the, the copper. So I've been wrapping towards you guys from the top, top towards you guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter wrap it. So I'm going to wrap, wrap bottom towards you guys. This is in case, um, let's say you get those toothy fish that want to destroy your flies. It prevents um, them from nicking at the thread and undoing your whole entire fly. 
Um, honestly, I don't always use copper wire. I only do it mainly for your cosmetics, but there have been times where I regretted not using it where my fly actually gets destroyed. And those are usually like during the hot bites. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping around the copper just to lock it in place. Bring the thread closer. Gotta lock it down a little more. So I'm just gonna do one more time, wrap around the copper wire, bring it forward. And so now I'm just gonna snap this wire. So break off. Come on. There it is. Okay, so do like two more wraps around that. Now I'm going to bring that pink UB dubbing, use it as the collar. Again, a pinch worth. I usually grab enough so that I could do like a one and a half wraps around the, behind that bead. That way uh, it does, it covers fully all the way around the, fly, the neck of the fly. Okay. There we have it. Now I'm just going to whip finish. I don't like using the UV cement when it comes to these kind of nymphs. Um, reason being is the collar is already there and then if you try to put any cement in between, it's just going to stick to these fibers. So I usually end up doing just three whip finishes, two sets of three whip, whip finishes. So that's one, two, three, probably four there. Right close, kind of singe it down. And I'm going to do it again. The, the second time is just for like uh, insurance. Three. It down, lock it in. I'm just trying to make sure that thread kind of sinks into behind that collar. Alrighty, and then just snip it off close. See if there's any excess fibers that you want to trim off. I see one that's bothering me right here. There we are, it's pretty much done. Now, just to like, uh, I guess, spice it up a little bit, I take a little teasing brush and I just kind of tease the, the collar. Well, out a little bit. So what that does is when this fly gets wet, it actually drapes over the hole in her body. And I guess you could say it kind of looks like a wing gag casing in a way, like a wing. Um, but I don't know, it just looks more crazy. And there we have it. I completed um, my version of a pink squirrel. Alright, thank you for watching guys.